Hello everybody. Welcome back to Sneha Infinities. I recently visited Amravati. While on my way, I started digging about the history of the great Buddhist stupa and Dhyana Buddha statue of Amravati and I couldn't wait to share some interesting facts that we didn't hear of before with you all. So without any delay, let's get started. The Great Buddhist Stupa of Amravati, the Mahachatya, is one of the greatest architectural achievements of ancient India. It is built in phases between the 3rd century BC during Ashoka Maurya reign and about 1st to 4th centuries AD under the Satvahana and Ikshavaku patronage. Amravati is one of the few places where the river flows north instead of south or east. This has been considered auspicious and became a center of religious activities for hundreds of years and then fell to disrepair. Amravati Stupa was discovered accidentally. In 1796, a local Raja who wanted to build a temple stumbled upon the ruins of the Stupa at Amravati. He decided to use the stone and thought there might be some treasure buried in what seemed to be a hill. Later, in 1854, Walter Elliot, the commissioner of Kuntur, Andhra Pradesh, visited Amravati and collected several sculpture panels and took them away to Madras. He also discovered the remains of the Western Gateway and came to the conclusion that the structure at Amravati was one of the largest and most magnificent Buddhist stupas ever built. By the 1850s, some of the slabs from Amravati had begun to be taken to different places in India and some even to London. These slabs are carved in great detail with representations of the stupa and represent an invaluable source of information about the original aspect of the great stupa. The largest collections of these slabs are in the Government Museum Chennai, Asiatic Society of Bengal at Calcutta and in the British Museum in London. The stupa was found to be engraved with intricate carvings depicting the life and teachings of Lord Buddha. This is a Sariraka type of stupa and hence it's of great importance. Maha stupas are known as Sariraka stupa as they contain buried bodily remains of Lord Buddha. The other type of stupa is Paribogika stupa which contains buried belongings of the Buddha. At present, the site is under the protection of the Archaeological Survey of India. The campus includes the stupa itself and the Archaeological Museum. The Dhyana Buddha is a statue of Gautama Buddha seated in meditative posture. It is known to be among the tallest Buddha statues in India. The project was conceived by R. Mallikarjuna Rao in 2002, who was then serving as the Deputy Director of Social Welfare Department in Kundu district of Andhra Pradesh. The statue was commissioned in 2003 and completed in 2015. The statue stands on massive lotus pandal supported by eight pillars symbolizing the Buddha's eightfold path to attain salvation. The area is divided into four zones depicting the noble truths of five ayaka pillars symbolizing the five stages of life as Buddha preached. The statue has a three-layered museum in the base, underneath it, which consists of sculptures from the Amaravati Mahachatya Stupa. These sculptures are of Amaravati art, which depict scenes with Buddhist significance. These are the most modern copies of the original reliefs from the Mahachatya Stupa of Amaravati. That's all for today folks. Hope you guys found this video interesting and informative. Please like, share and subscribe to Sneha Infinities. Thank you for watching.